Hi guys, my name is Kovin here. I just installed VirtualBox Manager to run OpenSUSE. I'm running on Windows 8, 64 bits. However, VirtualBox is running on a 32 bits, so it's not compatible and I cannot run OpenSUSE. So if you are facing the same problem, you can try these three methods which will help you to resolve the problem. So the problem starts where you click new and you just go to OpenSUSE. So it will auto detect the type and version. Over here, I only see 32 bits previously. 64 bits was not, not here. So I cannot move forward from here. So what I suggest, uh, the first method is that you can reinstall your VirtualBox. So over here, I will go to my system and this is my, my installation file. I double click on my installation file. Okay, so press next and click repair. Once I repair and follow up the procedure, I restart my computer and it should fix the problem of this uh, USC 64 bits over here. However, if this method doesn't work for you, which doesn't work for me, uh, you can go to your settings, control panel, and uninstall a program. But you're not going to uninstall the program because you are going to turn window feature on and off. So over here, they will scan the system, and you should see a folder called a Hyper V. All right, it's called a Hyper V folder. So what you need to do is to uncheck it. All right, so you will see over here uh, the frame, um, the feature here, and you will need to uncheck the Hyper V. Once you uncheck, you just uh, press OK, and you just restart your computer, restart everything and you should be finding 64 bits over here however this method doesn't work for my computer also so I've been looking for a solution about an hour and I found the last method which worked for my computer because my computer doesn't have a Hyper-V folder so I can't uncheck any of the folders so the last method which is called the uh, I need to restart my computer this is the sorry, third method uh, first is to restart computer the reason I need to restart my computer is because I need to go to my BIOS alright so once you restart computer before it enters to the windows you can, I press F10 depending on computer my was F10 it will strip me you will go to the BIOS and from BIOS I need to find this feature called the uh, visualization visualization Alright, so once I found a feature for visualiz visualization, uh, it will. I need to enable it. Okay, once I enable it, and I have to restart my computer, and that's it. Once I restart my computer, uh, once I once I enable the visualization under my BIOS, It solves the problem so the 64 bits came up over here so these are the three methods you can use um, to solve your, your compatibility issues right so hope this helped yeah